So meiosis is the process of making haploid cells from diploid cells. It shares many features with mitosis, but also there are some differences. Importantly, a single diploid parent cell doesn't produce two haploid daughter cells. Instead, it produces four. So let's follow two chromosomes through that process. The first phase we call prophase one. And just as in mitosis, in prophase one, the chromosomes condense from kind of long, extended, stringy structures down into a more compact structure that you can actually see in a microscope. And so I'll draw two homologous pairs of chromosomes, four chromosomes in total, and I'll try to make it obvious which chromosomes are pairs because I'll make them substantially different in size, right? And here's another one. All right, so these chromosomes have condensed. We can see them in a microscope. And then what happens is homologous pairs line up with each other. And so, for example, perhaps pair number one is going to line up like this. And pair number two will line up like this. We call each of these pairs of homologous chromosomes a bivalent. Bivalent for two parts or two sides. And then something really remarkable happens. These pairs of homologous chromosomes swap pieces with each other. And so, for example, this piece of this chromosome and this piece of its homolog might switch. Let's say something similar happens with these two little pieces. And you end up with chromosomes that are kind of Frankenstein chromosomes almost. So, oops. There we go. There we go. So you can see how in this pair of homologous chromosomes, these two little pieces have swapped with each other. And I'll go ahead and draw the other pair as well. There we go. Right. And so these two little pieces have swapped with each other as well. We call this process of homologous chromosomes swapping, um, swapping pieces and parts with, parts with each other, we call this crossing over. And so the bivalence lining up and homologous chromosomes crossing over we're all still happening here in prophase one. And then things start to look very much like mitosis because from prophase, we enter metaphase. And in metaphase, the chromosomes line up in the center of uh, the center of the cell. Let me try to maintain my color scheme here. There we go. But instead of them lining up right down the center, like they did in mitosis, instead, what happens? Yep, there we go. Instead, what happens is that bivalence line up, right? Pairs of homologous chromosomes stay together, right? And so they're still all lined up down the center of the cell. Um, we still call it a kind of down the metaphase plate down the center of the cell. And then just as in mitosis, a microtubule organizing center like has, um, a, it goes ahead and attaches um, microtubules to those chromosomes, and then 
those chromosomes start heading towards opposite ends of the cell. And yes, just like mitosis, this is called anaphase. I'm sorry, it should be called anaphase 1, just as this is called metaphase 1. And so on one side of the cell, then, we end up with one crossed over chromosome and another crossed over chromosome. And on this side of the cell, one crossed over chromosome and another crossed over chromosome. Right. Pulled to the side of the cell by microtubules attached to the microtubule organizing complex, right? Anaphase, ana meaning apart, right? So the chromosomes are moving apart. And then the cell goes ahead and it divides. And now we end up with two And so once the cell divides, we end up with two haploid cells. And just as, is, as with mitosis, we call this telophase. And the splitting of the cell is cytokinesis. And so if we started with a single cell that was diploid, right, two copies of each chromosome, one, two, and one, two, we've ended up with two cells that are haploid, right? This cell has one of each chromosome, and this cell has another of each chromosome. However, this is still post-copying. Right, so remember that in S phase of the cell cycle, the DNA gets replicated. And so each of these two kind of progenitor cells still has two chromatids. Remember that a chromatid is one arm of a chromosome, right? And so in um, the second half of meiosis, then these chromatids are going to split apart, and of course that'll be our next topic.